when the sun goes down and the lights come up. The brightest objects compete for our attention. But the greatest danger is what's lurking in the shadows. Do you see it? Look closer. No headlights. Night after night, car after car, some with headlights on, but their taillights off. The drivers seemingly oblivious. Came in a flash. No taillights and no brake lights. Posts on social media highlight the trend. Everyone is seeing these cars or not seeing them. Driving in the wrong lane and without headlights. Sitting on the interstate with no headlights on. Across the nation. A vehicle with the headlights out. The truck didn't have its headlights on. Phantom vehicles are causing crashes and taking lives. Vehicle with no lights is quite SUV. More than 80 miles per hour without headlights on. No headlights and going 90 miles per hour. But why is this happening? Our first theory, daytime running lamps. Daytime running lamps are lighting the road. The taillights are off. But those have been around for decades. Why are we seeing more phantom vehicles now? It turns out the answer has been right under our noses this entire time. The modern instrument panel. It's always on, even when the headlights are off. Night or day, day or night. The gauge cluster and radio are always lit in car after car after car after car manufactured in the last 10 years. Combined with the daytime running lamps, there are now multiple visual cues that the lights are on, even though the headlights and taillights are dark. Before dashboards went digital, analog gauges stayed dark when the headlights were off. Not anymore. Cars with, with no head or taillights at all, or cars with perhaps just the daytime running lights and no taillights. Some manufacturers are noticing the problem too. Frank Weissman is with Atlanta-based Porsche North America. Porsche recognized this problem and did something about it, right? Most of our vehicles have technology where the headlights are automatically on as a default when you start up the vehicle. This is a new Ford. Turn the lights off and the next time you start the car, the headlights default back to auto. New GMs have a spring switch, flipping back to auto when you restart the car. But Porsche went a step further. Headlights are on through the auto function. I can actively turn them off here, get the little message that I've done that. But as soon as I move off again, or above six miles an hour, headlights and taillights come back on. So even if the driver turns the headlights off, they will come back on automatically while they're driving. Correct. And then if you wanted to turn them off while you're driving, you can't. And I can't turn them off even if I wanted to. Porsche now installs these headlights on every new vehicle that has an always on dashboard. Is there ever a time where there are headlights on, but there are no taillights on? On these newer vehicles, no. And now it's the law in Canada. All new cars sold since last fall must have taillights that come on with the daytime running lamps or a dashboard that goes dark when the lights are off or auto headlights on by default. Many new cars now sold in the U.S. were designed to meet the new Canadian standards. So what we're getting the benefit of is essentially German engineering and Canadian regulation. <laughs> but the average car currently on our highways is more than 12 years old, which means we'll have to be on the lookout for phantom vehicles for another decade or so.